Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the old uh, calories in, calories out, and the amount that uh, people are eating or under eating. So I just wanna to start to say that 95% of people, let me say that again, 95% of people that come in to see me are under eating when they come in. It doesn't matter if they're guy or girl, guys who are trying to gain weight are under eating. Um, girls are trying to lose weight and training six days a week are under eating. I, there's, honestly, it'd be, it'd be one in 20 or less of the people that come in to see us for nutrition are uh, eating an adequate amount of nutrition, an adequate amount of food. Um, it's, uh, it's a part of our modern lifestyle, it's just, it's just chronic, right? So, I want to explain that. So obviously, most of the people we come in here, they want to, they want to get leaner, um, they want to lose body fat. Um, but I just, I just want to talk about, I guess, and I'm going to simplify it, but our, but our metabolism, what's going on here, and why you have to eat more, usually to actually get leaner. And like I said, 95% of people, when they come in, probably closer to 98%, they, we're increasing their food when they come in because they're just, they're just not eating enough. We're changing their food, we're getting them off shit food and onto healthy stuff, but they're not eating enough. So I'll give you an example. I had a, a girl come in the other week um, for a lean body mass and the amount of training, she was training like six days a week. We calculated that, okay, she should be, she, her, her RMR or the rest of the metabolic rate with her activity, so her, her daily energy expenditure would be up around 2,900, so somewhere around here. She was eating 14 to 1,500 calories a day, so here, yet she was staying the same weight. So obviously you'd look at that and go, well, she should be losing weight, right? Like ca calories in, calories out. But if you're eating an amount of food and your weight is staying the same, then your, your energy balance is the same. You're not, you're not losing any weight and you're eating an amount of food. So we have two options really. So we could drop her calories down. Um, we could take them down to 1200 and she might lose weight for a bit. But again, her body's just gonna adapt to that and, and use these and left. And you can't just keep going down. And, and your performance is going to drop and it's just going to, you're going to end up feeling like crap. So that's the thing. So if calories in, calories out, but this, this part of the equation, the calories out, the calories out is stuffed. So from stress, not getting enough sleep, not getting enough nutrients. So it's not just calories, it's nutrients as well. Think vitamins, minerals, amino acids. Um, not getting enough of those combined with, with stress and just uh, modern lifestyle means the calories outside of the equation is going to be stuffed. In other words, you're not going to be using as many calories, even if you're you know, at rest or, or through your training. So what we need to do is we need to fix this. So if, if someone's only eating 1,500 calories, if someone's only eating 1,500, but we think they should be, you know, we estimate based on the lean body mass and activity levels, they're going to be doing 3,000. Well, then there's a massive discrepancy there. This should be 3,000 if it's 1,500. So what we have to do, we have to increase the food intake and fix up their lifestyle. So the simplest way to do is you know, increase their food. So you wouldn't go straight up to 2,900. We might go from uh, 1,500 to say 2,000 for a couple of weeks, see how that goes. 2,400 for a couple of weeks, see how that goes. And then uh, you know, bump it up to say 2,800. And what we'll find is nine times out of 10 is when we increase the amount of calories, uh, their body fat actually starts dropping and they start feeling better like shit I'm not tired anymore um, so I guess it's just a look you want to have a look at what you're taking in and, and everyone says calories in calories out it is calories in calories out but if this side of the equation stuffed if your calories out is not where it should be then it doesn't matter you're just you're just trying to fight the problem with more exercise and eating less food when really you got to fix the calories out if you can fix this it makes it a lot easier how much easier is it to lose body fat if your calories out is 3,000 calories, or for some guys I train, it might be 4,500. If, you if your calories out is 4,500, well then you don't have to worry about the calories in. It takes care of itself. So instead of, instead of trying to eat less, reduce your calories in through eat less, and increase your calories out through exercising, actually make sure you're eating enough food and stay there for a while. If you've been under eating for months on end, the only way that you're gonna get results is lifting up your food. So like I said, 98% of people, so one in 50 of you watching, are probably under, uh, sorry, 49 out of 50 of the people watching are gonna be under eating most likely. So you need to, again, look at where you, don't do anything crazy, but look at where you are and have a serious thing about, all right, well, you know, how many calories should be in? There's calculators you can use where you can put in your lean body mass and activity level and it'll give you an estimation. Again, it's just an estimation, everyone's different, but, uh, you know, find a calculator like that or, hey, comment, comment below and I'll work it out for you. If you can tell me uh, your body weight, and you know, roughly body fat percentage and what you, know, what you do for work and your activity level, I can give you an estimation of where this should be. But um, you've gotta, you're, gonna, you're most likely gonna have to increase your food and you're gonna 
you're obviously getting in the right through the macro breakdown, all that sort of thing. And that's going to help you fix this, which is going to allow you to actually get the results you're after. Cheers, guys.